Hey, what's up everybody? Darren Sen here, bringing you the third and final lesson of Jerry Reed's Blue Finger. And we're gonna pick right up where we left off in lesson two. And I hope you enjoy it. So let's get to it. All right, lesson three, the ending of the song. I'm gonna just run through the whole ending here and then we'll break it down. I've adjusted my camera angle a little bit, so maybe it's Maybe it's a little bit better for you to see what's going on. Hope so. Anyway, let me go through. Um, we're going to jump right off from the end of lesson two. And it includes um, stuff that, you know, you've already learned. All right. <laughs> Okay, so good enough for rock and roll. Uh, all right, so we know um, we know this part. Uh. Second time through, we're sliding up to the uh, what is that? The ninth. So we're doing you know a full bar basically on the. Uh, I'm sorry, is that the, t yeah, that's the ninth. Okay, and then we're gonna take our pinky on the 12th and we're gonna bar the first three strings, but we're only gonna use, we're gonna use, um, we're gonna plug the notes on strings two and, or one and three. So. And your thumb goes through those two strings. And then your next note, going to be on the third string ninth fret and that's going to be before your thumb does anything you're going to hit that note first well at the same time you're going to have your index finger on the fourth string uh, eighth fret What's going to happen is after you hit after you hit that with your index finger over here, you're going to hit your thumb on the root on the bass note there. Then your thumb's going to carry through. So, and you're going to be doing this second string, which is an open string. Then you're going to take this bass note do a little split with your two fingers here you're gonna you're gonna take this bass note on the seventh fret you're also gonna take your ring finger on the um, fourth string of the seventh fret for your for your bass purposes here okay uh, all right and then you're gonna um, so your thumbs gonna hit a bass then you're gonna hit an open second string with your middle finger do a pinch your thumb is going to naturally come through to this um, fourth string right but while you're doing that you're also pinching you have your index finger on the third string sixth fret you get that little double stop in there that pinch then you're going to hit the open e string pinky on the eighth fret second string then it's going to be open after that and that pinch again on those on the um, uh, 
you know, fourth and third strings. I'm sorry. God, I can't get that note. And you're going to go back to that easy double stop here and that one. So, uh, back into the intro of the song you go through all that and then when you get to the very very ending is um, double stops with your ring finger on the um, ninth fret your index finger the first string ninth fret your index finger on the seventh string I'm sorry the seventh fret second string you do this little counter thing all double stops with your with your first two fingers on the first two strings. You're going to go this little deal, then you're going to go right in the middle of it. Then you're going to switch your fingers to the other strings. Real simple. Just use your ear. You're going to do that on the 12th fret. Uh, then you're going to do it on the 14th. So uh, the, after the last one, going to go um, that new inversion and then just go back to the two the the sets of frets that you were doing and then slide into that last one so on this one your ring fingers on the second string ninth fret uh, first fingers on the first string seventh fret you slide into that then you do these little harmonics from seven to twelve on every string So there is Blue Finger. If you have any questions, I know that I know that it's a little bit ragtag, but um, I think there's enough for you advanced players here to make sense and get this whole song. Again, let me let me make the video so you can see my face. All right, that's it for lesson three. That wraps up Blue Finger. Uh, I know it was a little shaky at times, but. I hope you got something out of it, and I hope it brings you as much joy as it's brought me. One of these days, I'm going to have it down, baby. But I couldn't wait around to put the lesson out, because that might take who knows how long. Anyway, I wanted to remind you that my version of this song is based heavily off this guy on YouTube. He's really awesome, called Peace Joy Town. And he plays a nylon string guitar, and he plays fingerstyle arrangements of just tons of awesome stuff. So I'll put um, a link to his rendition of this song in the uh, description as well and anyway it's been a pleasure until the next lesson whatever it may be i'll see ya